Well, there it is. The new official poster for Star Wars The Force Awakens, ladies and gentlemen, was just released today. That's right, the day today is Sunday, October the 18th, 2015, and the... This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. And, uh, is this a Drew Struzan? Do you know if this is a Drew Struzan or not? I, I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure if it is. I know he did, of course, the promotional poster that was released at D23 a couple of months ago. And I think he did this one. It sort of looks like it could be a Struzan. But for those of you who don't know, he didn't do the original trilogy posters. Now he's done some sort of variations of them, but the original theatrical posters from 1977, 1980, 1983 for uh, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi were not Struzan posters. Um, and I thought, I was kind of hoping that they were going to go back to one of those guys. I think actually, I stand to be corrected, but I think the guy that did Return of the Jedi might have He's, he may have passed. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm, but regardless of whether it's a Struzan or not, um, even if it is, it definitely has that classic, uh, Star Wars vibe and feel to it. The way it's laid out, the way all the characters are sort of positioned. Um, you know, I, I'm a big fan. I mean, years and years ago, they don't do this right now. And for those of you who are in your, you know, you know, around my age, so your mid thirties and above, uh, you remember when a lot of posters from like the seventies and the eighties, uh, they were painted posters. I mean, they, they, they were painted like whether it was the Goonies or whether it was Star Wars or whether it was Indiana Jones or whether, you know, whatever the case is, a lot of adventure films, um, even some comedies too, but a lot of the science fiction adventure films were all sort of drawings. They were paintings. And I, and I, I always love that about movie posters way back in the day. I'm a big, you know, I'm a big nostalgia guy and I love the drawn slash painting movie posters. And this is of course one of them. And I think it looks fantastic. One thing I do notice is again, the same thing I said about the, uh, Force Awakens, promotional poster released at D23 a couple of months ago. I I have this funny feeling that the character of Rey, played by Daisy Ridley, is going to have some sort of conflict. There's going to be some sort of conflict that she's struggling with. You know, does she go to the good side, or, or does she go to the dark side, or does she stay with the good side? You know, whatever it is, or the light side, I should say. Um, but if you look at this poster, you'll see that her staff is completely parallel with the blade of Kylo Ren's lightsaber. It's just like goes right, it, it's perfect. And that's not by accident, folks. Whoever did this poster, if it is a Struzan, you know, it's not like, well, I think this will look good here. No, 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 there, look, this is marketing at its finest. And there is a reason why Kylo Ren's lightsaber blade is going right along parallel with uh, Ray's staff, and uh, and again, she's front and center. She's in the middle, at the very top of sort of this triangle as well, because there's sort of a triangle that's created between uh, her staff and Kylo Ren's lightsaber blade. And then, of course, you know, if you go down the right side of the poster, uh, the other side of the triangle is created by by Finn's lightsaber, which of course we believe is Luke's, right? Um, and then of course you kind of come across the bottom uh, with sort of all the other characters in the middle. So, uh, you know, again, she's front and center, but again, she's she's sort of in the middle between the light and the dark. And, and I just got this feeling, you know, that there's going to be this, 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 uh, uh, this conflict within her. And now again, you know, something that a lot of people are taking notice of, the very top right, we see what looks like a Death Star, but I don't think it is. If you look very carefully, this actually looks like a planet, and the planet sort of, in and of itself, has, has opened up, and there's like this eye that's kind of coming through. That's really cool. So I don't think that this is a Death Star, um, you know, like a, like a, 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 a tangible sort of physical constructed thing. I think this is a planet that is opening up. I stand to be corrected. We'll find out. We may find out tomorrow. Hopefully the um, trailer that we've all been waiting for that gives more of the narrative um, will be released. Uh, but nonetheless, I, I, I'm, I'm fascinated by that. It's great to see Han and Leia there as well. Chewie looks great. I love the fact that Captain Phasma is sort of front and center at the very bottom, uh, which tells us that she plays sort of a prominent role. I think that's really cool. Um, R2-D2 and C-3PO are kind of in the back, which tells me that they're probably 
you know, probably playing their traditional roles. Uh, they might take a bit of a backseat to this film, um, uh, potentially, uh, BB-8's there, um, and then of course we got, um, Oscar Isaac's character, Poe Dameron there as well. And then of course we have, uh, Lapita Nyong'o, is that her name? I think that's her name. I think that might be her CGI character there in the background to the left-hand side of R2-D2. So, you know, all in all, it's a very Star Wars poster. It's a Star Wars poster. That's what it is. And anybody who, uh, is a Star Wars fan, uh, you know, who like me, have been waiting over 30 years for a Star Wars movie, not 10 years, okay? There's a lot of us that have been waiting over 30 years for a real Star Wars movie. So I look at this and I'm like, yeah, I buy it. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. You know, it's a typical Star Wars. I, I, I actually think it's way better than any of the prequel posters. Um, it's very original trilogy-esque. Um, one thing I will say, though, is that I'm surprised that they kept the Star Wars The Force Awakens logo the same as it's been, uh, since the announcement of the, uh, title of the film, uh, about a year ago. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised by that. I was hoping, and they might still, but I was hoping to see that traditional, um, sort of the same kind of title you had on the original theatrical release posters of The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Kind of like you have, like, you know, you have um, Star Wars across the top, and then you have, uh, you know, The Force Awakens kind of in, like, this box kind of thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. I was kind of hoping to see that kind of style, and we didn't. We see sort of the same logo we've been seeing for the last year. So, okay, cool. I mean, maybe they're not going to go with that. And that's okay. I... That would be my only criticism or crit not really criticism, but critique of it of something that I would have liked to have seen would have been that. A lot of people are complaining that they haven't seen Luke. Where's Luke? Where's Luke? I'm telling you right now, guys, for those of you who want Luke to play a prominent main role in this film, I think you're going to be disappointed. I think we're going to see Luke, but I think it's not going to be till more towards the, the third act of the film, potentially maybe even the last 15, 20 minutes of the movie. I think this film is going to be all about where is Luke? And this is the journey to find Luke. And I think that's why he's not on the poster. So, um, yeah, I, I think they're keeping it tight lip. And, and I think for those of you who want Luke to play a prominent role, you're going to be disappointed. I don't think you're going to be disappointed in the narrative and the film, you know, of itself. Uh, but I think you'll be like, oh, that's too bad. But it, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. To me, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Like, it, it makes sense. This isn't Luke's movie. This is about finding Luke. Um, you know, I think this is going to be more Han Solo's movie. Uh, but we'll find out. And we may, we may, we're, I think we're going to know a lot more tomorrow night, but I still think it's going to, uh, bring up a lot more questions as well. So anyway, those are my thoughts on the poster. What do you think about it? I think it's great. I feel good. I look at it. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I like it. I like it. Solid. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think about it. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow night I'm going to be doing a, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Tomorrow night's crazy. If you're not in Canada, um, tomorrow is our federal election here. And tomorrow night the Blue Jays also play uh, arguably the most important game of the year because they're down 2 nothing against the Kansas City Royals, right? So they play tomorrow night as well. So tomorrow night we'll find out who becomes the next Prime Minister of Canada. Tomorrow night, the Blue Jays are playing in Toronto, which is where I am, arguably the most important game of the year, and tomorrow night, the Star Wars trailer gets released. I don't know how I'm going to do a reaction video to this, but uh, it's going to be insane. I'm going to be going back and forth from, like, you know, the Jays game, the trailer. I mean, who really cares about the election, right? <laughs> Whatever. Um, but yeah, anyway, so comment below, let me know. Cheers.